The rich passengers of the Ocean Gate submarine Titan learned a hard lesson before they left this world, played stupid games, win jacked up prizes. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The goddess next door takes on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess featuring a bonus pin-up and the other two books in the Cyber Goddess saga at online bookstores everywhere today. Wealthy passengers and the CEO of Ocean Gate wound up losing their lives as the submarine they were traveling in imploded under the sea. Now, according to reports, these four wealthy passengers booked a trip that where they paid two hundred and fifty thousand dollars each to go down to the wreckage of the Titanic inside of Ocean Gate's CEO's Stockton Rush's experimental submarine known as the Titan. And as they got on the Titan and it went out to sea, at, as the ship went down to 3,500 feet, it lost communications and a loud bang could be heard. And that was the last communications that the ship wound up having after a week of searching they eventually found the robots eventually found the wreckage of the titan 1600 feet away from the ruins of the titanic now the main reason why this tragedy sadly happened wasn't due to any sort of accident it was all due to the arrogance of ocean gate ceo stockton rush who refused to listen to seasoned professionals who expressed concern as related to the experimental submarine he was building out of materials such as carbon fiber. Now, James Cameron, a, the filmmaker behind the 1997 Best Picture film Titanic, was one of those individuals expressing warnings and concerns as related to the building of this experimental submarine because he himself, when he was built, ex doing research to film his movie Titanic, built a submarine and went out looking to get certification from organizations as related to diving. Now, Cameron wanted to get this certification because you need a special type of submarine to dive down to where the Titanic is, which is 12,000 feet below sea level. And at 12,000 feet below sea level, which is about th two and a half to three miles, the pressures are extremely intense. And with the pressures down there being so extremely intense, you have to have a specialized submarine with certifications. But Stockton Rush didn't want to go out here and get any of the certifications. And when one of his engineers expressed concerns about those about the issues as related to the submarine, he wound up firing him, and this is where he wound up making a major mistake because David Lockridge, who was an experienced submarine pilot, was trying to express concerns about the vessel's carbon fiber hull, which was very, very fragile because carbon fiber, while it is very light and very, and very strong as related to a material, it is a material that if it has to deal with a lot of pressure and impact, it can wind up damaging the overall structure. And this is something I saw when I was watching YouTuber VTuned as he was rebuilding his McLaren 720S. And as VTune was rebuilding his McLaren 720S, he noticed structural damage as related to the tub of the vehicle, which is a core component of the car and he had to go out and replace the entire tub of the car because that structural crack as related to that car would have rendered the car where it would not be safe to drive him. Now, sadly, um, Stockton Rush did not have the critical thinking of a V-tuned as related to when he was working on that McLaren 720S. No, Stockton Rush thought carbon fiber would be light and strong and he thought because it would be light and strong it would be safe enough to go out and explore 12,000 feet below sea level and take tourists down to see the Titanic 
And again, that just showed his arrogance as related to being a business person. And he was more focused on the greed that he had as related to money. And because he was focused mostly on making money and saving money, he didn't think about the safety of the, um, as related to his passengers. And he didn't think about the safety even for himself. Because what um, Stockton Rush was doing as he was building his Titan was creating a death trap for the seas because he went out here looking to use parts from Camping World as the lights. He wanted to go out here and use just steel tubes for ballast and he didn't even put a proper door on his experimental submarine. No, he didn't even do this. He just created a titanium door as related to his submarine that had to be bolted from the outside, never creating any sort of safety measures for his passengers. No, it was all about him and his drive to do whatever he wanted as he went on his quest to save money. No, he never thought about anybody's safety, and that was all part of his hubris. And what's even worse is that his passengers, because they were rich, never even thought about their own safety or their own health. No, it was all about going to see the wreckage of the Titanic and have that trip of a lifetime that other people couldn't afford to have. And that just showed the arrogance and disconnect of all the individuals as related to this Ocean Gate Titan. And what's really sad is that all of these individuals, because they were thinking of themselves on their trip to go see the wreckage of the Titanic, don't see that they were participating in the same dysfunctional frame of thinking that those who rode the Titanic from England to New York did, had when they took the first maiden voyage of the Titanic. And again, what's sad is that almost 112 years after the sinking of the Titanic on its maiden voyage, that you had rich people like Stockton Rush and the people who went and paid to go see the Titanic having the same frame of mind that those wealthy people had when they made the first voyage of the Titanic because in their arrogance, the people who, at the White Star Lines thought the Titanic could not be sunk by God and what happened was the Titanic wound up sink, being sunk on its first voyage and one of the main reasons why it wound up getting sunk is because these men had the audacity and the arrogance to tempt the Most High God with their ship. And as they tempted the Most High God by saying that he could not sink the Titanic, the Titanic wound up sinking on its first voyage because most of the humans there thought they knew better and they thought that they could just go out here and coast at high speeds without regard for anyone or anything. And this is why the Titanic wound up hitting an iceberg and dooming many of those wealthy people in that 1500 who passed away to lose their lives on that maiden voyage. And again, the Titanic was the was a textbook example of wealthy people's hubris, and this Ocean Gates Titans is another example of wealthy people's hubris, as they thought that they were going to go out here and go see the ruins of a ship where 1500 people lost their lives and arrogantly thought, I'm going to look down at the wreckage of this ship and see what other people were never able to see, not ever thinking about the value of their own lives and never thinking about their own safety in this extremely fragile ship. Because again, with carbon fiber, yes, it is a very light and strong material. However, carbon fiber really doesn't hold up very well over time. And Stockton Rush was arrogant enough to believe that he could continue to reuse this ship when, according to reports that I have read, people like James Cameron say you can only use this ship maybe once or maybe twice at best before the pressures start to do damage. And they were out here using steel ships and titanium ships, which are a lot stronger. But you had Stockton Rush arrogantly believing that carbon fiber would be the future but carbon fiber has its issues because carbon fiber, as I've seen from guys like Junkyard Dave, who was making a carbon fiber roof, and guys like Goon Squad, as they were working on their 
Lamborghini um, SV Aventador, they were talking about carbon fiber. And again, carbon fiber, yes, it is a very light and strong material, but it has its issues as related to pressures and impacts. And this carbon fiber sub could not handle the pressures of the deep. And again, if you've used it multiple times with carbon fiber, again, carbon fiber is not just, it's, it's also synthetic fibers mixed with chemicals and junkyard dave went into this in depth as he was making the roof for his um hellcat magnum he was showing how to put this together and when it comes down to carbon fiber yes it's good for parts like vehicles which are not really put under too much strain but when you are going into the depths of the sea almost three miles below sea level that's going to put a lot of pressure on carbon fiber and as it puts pressure on carbon fiber the carbon fiber again it's put together it's formed together with chemicals and it's formed together with synthetic cloth and the chemistry of these materials when they're put under pressure start to strain and as they strain what eventually happens is you get the structures of this material starting to um, buckle and that's basically what happened at uh, just 3,500 feet. Again, they were not the full 12,500 feet below. They only got the 3,500 and the vehicle basically deteriorated to the point from so many usages that eventually the vehicle wound up imploding at just 3,500 feet. And as it imploded inside of the vehicle, the all of the individuals in there in a millisecond wound up with their entire lives ending as their bodies were incinerated and as the carbon fiber basically wound up disintegrating. And this was five inch thick carbon fiber at that. And again, it's really sad because again, this CEO really was not thinking about the safety of anyone. He was just arrogant to believe that he could go out here and take things to the next level. He was thinking about being revolutionary as related to this carbon fiber ship. But what was happening was the ship was delaminating and it was delaminating because the, le the fiber was starting to come apart. And again, this is because the chemicals were separating and as the chemicals of this carbon fiber wound up separating from the synthetic fibers, what happened was, was you could, the, the ship was again ripping itself apart. And as it ripped itself apart, the titanium end cap basically imploded on the overall parts of the ship as it disintegrated all of the individuals inside and that's what led to the complete destruction of the titan and that's what james cameron talked about as related to things he said that this ship basically was not designed for that type of depth and again wasn't designed for that type of depth because this ship was just made of the wrong material because again carbon fiber it's good for cars and parts of cars like hoods and maybe roofs or even overall bodies depending on how you're going to apply it but the whole thing is it's not meant for deep sea exploration because carbon fiber just isn't strong enough to take those kind of pressures which are tons to the square inch this is what i got from an issue of justice league um 200 where aquaman took a crystal creature all the way down to depths of the sea and again the pressure down there is tons to the square inch and with the pressure at 3500 feet being where we're going from pounds to to hundreds of pounds to even tons to the square inch what will happen is that ship will basically crumple like a can and again it crumpled in and on itself like a can from those pressures all due to the arrogance of the ceo and the arrogance of all the passengers except for the 19 year old young man the 19 year old young man who came with his father was going because his father wanted him to go and sadly he didn't understand that he, he didn't understand what he was getting into and sadly this is what led to the death of all of these individuals who went out here and played a took their lives for granted played a stupid game with their lives and wound up winning a jacked up prize which was the end of their lives because when i look at what happened as related to the titan it just shows the decadence and extravagance of some in the west as related to life 
and how they take life for granted because when I look at the individuals who were a part of that Titan sub, they basically were taking their lives for granted, not showing any sort of gratitude, going out here and spending their lives extravagantly, with just taking two, a quarter of a million dollars and then spending it to go see the ruins of a ship where thousands of people lost their lives, not thinking about trying to help their fellow man the way God wants us to do when we get this kind, that kind of money. Because if you're a billionaire like one of the individuals was, I could think of another different things to spend a quarter of a million dollars on. And if I had a quarter of a million dollars laying around like that, I would think about going out here and buying some property to help the homeless. I would be thinking about developing programs to help the homeless and those who want or those young kids who want to get an education in something like a trade school or a college i would be thinking about going out here and helping those in need because all that money that was spent on this voyage which was about um uh, oh about a million dollars because there's four passengers and they all spent two hundred and fifty thousand dollars each to go see the wreckage of a ship where people lost their lives I would think about ways to enrich people's lives right here. And again, that would be, as I see it, a better use of that money than going out here and squandering it on some sort of vanity trip in order to sate an ego. That's what I would do with that money. Again, I can think of a dozen things to do, like helping out our homeless vets by helping get, get them some work or helping them go find some housing. I mean, you've got so many people all across the globe who could have used this kind of money to help themselves. I mean, even if you gave ten, ten to $20,000 to a group of individuals, it would have more of an impact. And when I look at what happened with all of these individuals on this submarine, the Titan, again, they just tempted God with their, with their vanity, with their extravagance, and sadly, they wound up paying the price with their lives for going out here and as I see it just disrespecting the most high by being so arrogant and so extravagant and being so decadent as related to going out here and going into the deep and again going into the deep thinking that they could do this on a shoestring budget and that's what Stockton Ridge I think his last name is did as related to things I mean what he did was extremely disrespectful and again extremely disrespectful because here you have a guy who wants to go out here and and take this sub his name is Stockton Rush I believe Stockton Rush his name is Stockton Rush but the whole thing is he was so arrogant to think he could just cut corners with this carbon fiber think he could cut corners as related to the whole thing by not putting any GPS in cut corners as related to not putting a proper um, hull on his ship, cut corners as related to operating it with a PlayStation controller and using text messages from cell phones. I mean, he was so busy cutting corners as related to trying to save some money that he didn't even think about his own life. And again, this just shows the arrogance and decadence of people out here and shows how they just have no regard for human life. And that is the saddest part about this whole situation is that 112 years after the arrogance of many of the shipbuilders at the White Star Line, we see that Ocean Gate, as they were making their journeys down to the depths of the sea for the Titanic, never learned a single lesson to why the Titanic sunk back in 1912. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can send a donation to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my fiction on the SJS Direct imprint, like the ISIS series, the Esteem series, the John Haynes series, and the books of the Spencerilla trilogy, you can find those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them on other online booksellers, like Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. If that's all I have to say for this video, you can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, Godbreaker, the man who rules the world, takes on the Asgardian God of Thunder in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get your copy of John Haynes, Godbreaker in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. Now 
available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited. Isis, all that glitters. The Goddess Next Door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, all that glitters in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Now available in paperback and Kindle, all about Marilyn. Learn all about the struggles of a faded former teen sitcom star in this absolutely fabulous five-star screenplay. Get all about Marilyn in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com today. Support black-owned and black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.